Right now, industry information might be a mystery to you. Do you know why it's important? And do you know how to find it? Because let's be honest, you'd probably rather Google it than spend time looking for it in a library database. Luckily for you, you are going to learn all about it. We are going to give you an example of how to find niche industry information using library databases. So put your detective hat on, and together we will solve the mystery of the missing industry information. Tesla, the car company with the fancy electric cars, has many sensors to measure or detect all sorts of things. Most market research companies have focused on the car industry, but not as much as the information about the exact sensors Tesla uses. This is where you come in. You have been hired to find industry information on these sensors. Let me give you your first clue. To find this information, you should search for industry reports. These reports answer questions such as, what does the industry produce and for whom? Who are the major players? What are the current conditions as well as projections for the future? And what are the affiliated trade associations? Clue number two. One way to find these industry reports is to search by NAICS and SIC codes. Let me explain. With any industry, there are classification codes that organize industries into a numbered scheme. The two most common types are the Standard Industrial Classification, SIC, and the North American Industrial Classification System, NAICS. The SIC code is grouped together by demand or production. It has four digits with the first two numbers indicating the major industry group. NAICS codes are more detailed and grouped together by the process to produce the good or service. This code has six digits with the first two numbers as the general sector where the product falls into. Each digit after that becomes more specific to the product. Here's your third clue. There are resources to help you find NAICS and SIC codes. Head to this website, www.library.illinois.edu. bis this is the Business Information Services website. Click on Class Assignments and choose the one for your class. For the purpose of this video, we will be using BATM 449, but any class involving industry research can use this. Click on the Industry Research tab. You will see a variety of resources needed for industry research. The key to finding a NAICS or SIC code is to start with the major industry group or general sector. Click on Census Bureau's NAICS search. This will take you to the NAICS code website. Then click on 2017 NAICS under Reference Files. Since we're focusing on sensors and not the car industry, we're going to click on Manufacturing. After scrolling through, we found that Navigational Measuring Electromedical and Control Instruments Manufacturing is probably the closest for sensors that belong in cars. And here it gives a description of what is in this NAICS code. The good or service that you are investigating may have multiple NAICS or SIC codes. This is good because the more sectors you can find a good or service, the more industries you can market to. Within your classes guide, go to Database Overview. Here's a chart of some of the resources we have and which ones are relevant according to the type of content and information they provide. All these resources are great, but pay close attention to these particular resources. Business Source Ultimate, IBIS World, Frost and & Sullivan, and BCC Research. Click on the Industry Research tab and then click on Business Source Ultimate. In this database, you can search by NAICS code by going to the Select a Field and then clicking on I see NAICS code or description, or you can just search by a keyword. There are a lot of results, so you can limit this by going to Source Types, Show More, and then click on Industry Profiles. And this will show you industry reports. But say nothing comes up and you can't find an industry report on your product or service, you can go back to Source Type, Show More, and then click on Academic Journal. The purpose of looking through articles is that you may be able to find another industry code or a keyword to search for. The next database we are going to look at is IBIS World. So click the login button here and it will take you to the home page. Now you can search by NAICS code or by keyword. So for this example, let's do a NAICS code.
This will take you to their industry report. And on the left-hand side is broken down into the contents of the report. Lastly, for Frost and Sullivan and BCC Research, you can search directly in the search bar using terms like automotive sensor or just sensor. If you ever forget how to search within a database, you can look at the screenshots that are in your library guide. Also, if you go to the BIS homepage, go to the BIS databases drop-down box, and you can go to any database here directly. Congratulations, you've cracked the case. You found industry information that any car company would be happy to have. Before I go, I want to answer one last question. Why should I care? First, you can put knowing how to conduct industry research on the resume. It's important to potential employers that you know how to research complex topics. Second, the library subscribes to multiple resources that have reliable and credible information, and all of this is at your fingertips. Lastly, Business Information Services is always here to help you with any questions you have. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.